So now that number two is all gone, all done, it's time for the should be ah yeah no screws now. So now is the moment where you put this thing here on the bottom. This is the difficult. This one is a bit tight. It's hard to get it. There's three lashes. One here, one here, and one here. That's it. That's all it holds it in place. It's quite amazing how these people can do this because this is is um only held by three points. The kind of magic of the industrial design. A marvelous design. Presumably, it's not going to turn out into a. Hopefully, not a. Not going to be a. So now you just, to put this thing, maybe we just put it there and then press it down a little bit and down and push it like this. So let's see, let's see if that does it. Yeah, it does it. So it fits in place. So that really leaves us with a few pieces left. Nothing is left over. Okay, so now you have to be careful when you do this. Here I have the battery bay and the battery. But, and this is the, the point here is that here there is a speaker that goes, this speaker goes here. And if you look at the phone, there are connections. This sits like this, there. So the speaker goes here. So the connections for it are these two brass discs there. So let's give it a little bit a little cleaning with our contact cleaner q-tip clean there clean there clean there clean there clean there clean there all these contacts there and then also here there it is and here these two little springs seem to be quite I'm not gonna clean that but because it goes like this so it goes with the springs towards this side and remember not to lose the the push button the power button and now this thing has to go in it goes like this I suppose so okay let's before we do that let's check the power power button here we did all this work yes power button sitting in here with all the copper wires that we put I wonder if it's going to make any connection. Well, we will see. Okay, let's put this thing in. It should go, yeah, it should go like that. So notice that I use a thin wire, so there is no room here for anything. So we have to do, there's no room in the back here. So whatever you put underneath it has to be rather thin so this one you have to do like this but it has to you have to also put the lashes in as you as you force it into place so we're gonna have to do that slowly there you see just engaging in there and then it seems to engage easily on this side but then It doesn't, ah, oh, here it's out, you see, so back, back out. So apparently, maybe it's better to do this side first. No, it's not. It has to go in this, this, this side first. Okay. There, there, and then, yeah, you have to do, like, move it this way. Maybe with this tool would be better. It doesn't seem to fit here very well. Is one of these little lashes and another one here uh, on top of the, vo the volume controller 
and another one right here. It's not quite there yet, but but almost. And the bottom seems to be seems to be in place. So. See in here, we have to watch this this part there. Make sure it's all in place there. Apparently, it's more or less okay. Let's see. You will never know. Because this phone is okay. So now with this orientation we got the last three last three screws here. So it's, this guy is a torque screw. It goes in this place. Torque that's the void screw. Another one, a Philips. Okay, this one used to go there. There, and the last torque. Why they call them torque? Screw goes there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's all the pieces and that's the battery cover and that's the battery. Okay. So now we have a SIM. SIM card, let's get this out now. We don't need it anymore. See, everything seems to have fit in place. And then this goes like this. There. And then we need a little memory. This is to go like this. Okay. So, time to see the real truth. Let's see. Ooh ah, no. This power button is okay. Now it's in place. It's not really. This button is not really working very well, apparently. Not sure it's making any connection. Oh, it just came on. This is was this was maybe it's, the switch is maybe permanently pressed, so I might need to disassemble the phone again. Let's see. Some phone get just stuck in this forever, so you get a um, paper weight stuck in this, no actually it keeps booting so apparently that information that we got was maybe it's true that pin 10 was connected to there if it doesn't connect they will find out very soon okay we get a light coming up in there time is a bit off but uh, okay we want to know that when we when we did all this work that the unit can be safely powered on and off reliably, right? So the first thing to do is to test this button many times, so make sure it comes off reliably, see? So it really is a bit now too sensitive, but it, it works 100% of the times. It works like new, actually. So, and I tested that the phone does work as a phone, and so I can make phone calls. So this is what we see. The, the, it goes into sleep mode, but then it, it really works. And then the other thing that I got the internet uh, connection so I can download applications. I'm gonna look for the application for the for the um, for managing the phone without this button. So there's an application that lets you use this thing, the trackball, to 
to to control the phone instead of using this button. But is this the way I fix it? It probably will last quite a bit. So, but it, I'm quite happy with this. And then uh, there's also another thing that if you press it long, it goes brings this menu to to power it off. I'm not gonna power it off. I'll probably never do that ever. So now next thing to do is to get the application in the the application to control the phone using the, the trackball instead of the power switch. But the good news is that it does work. So it, it does uh, seem to be true that uh, this uh, pinout, if you look at the, the connector in the, um, this connector, right? The connector that was in the, um, if you look at this connector in your flex, counting from 1 to 10 here this pin connects to the switch and the other one is just a ground so you can use many places in the phone have the ground but this is the thing the important one and it's difficult to get this order without shorting these two other pins but you can do it so i could do it just with any regular uh, fine point soldering iron and a lot of patience but so i wish you luck and have fun fixing your nexus one and um so well i wouldn't uh, say discourage people from buying this phone it's actually a beautiful uh, phone it's actually a very nice design so I really I'm pretty happy that uh, even I had to repair it but I'm very happy with it so I would still recommend people to buy it's a lovely phone so I really like it otherwise I wouldn't have tried to fix it all right now it's time to say goodbye so bye